This video will teach you how to solve a 4x4 Rubik's Cube. And I know the 4x4 Rubik's Cube is much harder than the 3x3. It has a whole bunch of extra steps in the beginning. Uh, of course, it has a whole extra layer than the 3x3. But hopefully, by the end of this video, you should be able to turn this into uh, this in just a matter of like a few minutes. Okay, uh, before I start, I just want to add a little bit of an advertisement into this thing. Uh, that right there. Yeah, that's floating. It's been floating there. Well, it's about 11.30 right now. 11.30 in the morning. And that's been floating there since about 9 o'clock last night. It's called a, called a Levitron. L-E-V-I-T-R-O-N. Yeah, they're pretty cool. You should probably get one. <laughs> okay. So, first step in solving a 4x4 is to solve the centers, which means that all four of these on every side should be the same color. So, the thing about a 4x4 that makes it much different than a 3x3 is the fact that it has no set centerpiece because it's a it's an even number of cubes on every side. So, you really have to build the centers correctly in relation to each other, not just build the centers, because if you put red here blue here and white here, they may not turn out right. You have to do them in the correct pattern around the cube. Um, so if you have an American cube, then your color scheme, you, you should know your color scheme no matter what, but if you have an American cube like I do, it would be red opposite orange, blue opposite green, and white opposite yellow. That's the way American cubes are set up, and so that's how we're going to build the centers. Um, I like to start with red, so I'm going to build red, a red center up here in those four spots. Um, the, building the centers takes really just a lot of free thinking. There's no real alg algorithms involved. Um, the method that I like to use for this is I like to put uh, make a little two by two two by one block. So I'm going to make two reds join like right there. So I have a red there and a red there. What I'm going to do is twist this around and bring that up. So now I have two reds there. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make another 2 by one block on the same side, on the different side. So I have a red there and a red there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to join them. And then there's another 2 by one block. And then you can just join the two blocks that you made. So there's that. Building centers, it may seem d difficult at first. It really just takes a bunch of practice and knowing and seeing different types of patterns and stuff like that. Um, so it, well, if you do it for a while, you'll eventually get very used to it, and it'll it'll become probably the easiest part of the whole uh, the whole cube. Okay, now the next centers, the the other five are harder because you want to build them without screwing up the ones you've already finished. So right now I have well, uh, the way I like to do it is I like to do red on top, and then I know that white has to be here and blue here. And then I can solve the opposites from there. So if blue's here or green is going to be in back, if white is here, yellow is going to be on this side, and if red's on top, then orange is going to be on the bottom. So since I already have two whites here, I'm going to build whites the the white side right here. Um, I'm going to bring this one around to join those. Now in this case, you might it may not be the the best method to build two two by one blocks and then join them. So in this case, I'm going to make three on one side. And then what you can do is you have this here. So if you move that up, that's going to go there and then there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to twist this like that. So that when I move this up, it's going to go and go right here. Now that will make a two by, two by one block here. And it will bring this two by one block around to the bottom. So I'm going to do that. There's the white that we had in the bottom before. And then the other 2 by one block went down here. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to twist this 2 by one block like that. And then we can join them. Okay. So next, since this is red and white, I'm going to do blue on this face. Okay, so what I can do is I have a 2 by one block of blue here. And I'm going to bring that up to this side. So I'm going to twist that. And when I bring it up, that will 
when I bring it up here next to the white and under the red that screws up this part of the red so when I bring it up and this part of the red goes back here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna twist this these blues around to the other side of this face so I can bring the reds de back de back up without screwing up these blues So now I have three blues on this face and the last blue is where? It's over here. So that'll come up to here and then here. Okay? So when you bring it up, you want to knock a 2x2 two two block out. That way you build a 2x2 two two block here. A 2x1, I'm sorry. You bring it up. And the other 2x1 block goes down the bottom here. And so then when I twist this to the side I can bring the other 2 by one block back up and in the process it breaks the, the white block but it also restores it when you bring the other ones back up okay so now we have red white and blue centers that's the way I like to think about it the, those first three the first three are, are the most crucial in orienting the rest of the, your cube if I would have built uh, red white blue then the rest of the cube wouldn't, wouldn't have worked that's what's hard about even number cubes Okay, so then opposite blue is going to go green. Green has to go on this face. So I have a 2 by one block here, which I'm going to bring up. That breaks the red. But that's okay, because when I bring, when I turn this face so that the greens go on the left side, I can bring the reds back up. And then I have the last green right here. So when I bring it up, it'll knock this 2 by, two by one block out right but then I have a 2 by one block here so I can twist and bring the other 2 by ones back down and again that restores the reds okay next is white so opposite white is yellow so yellow's gotta go here the cool thing about the last two centers is when you solve the fifth one the sixth one automatically has to be solved if you think about it because the other center pieces have nowhere else to go so if you solve the, once you solve five the sixth one automatically gets solved Okay, so I'm going to put yellow here because we're opposite white. And then the orange ones are automatically getting it solved down here opposite red. So, first I'm going to bring a 2 by one block up. And I'm going to that screw up the red. So I'm going to twist it around 180 degrees so I can bring the reds back down. And then I have three. And then this is going to come up to here. So I'm going to bring it up, knock, a two, knock that 2 by one block out make another 2 by one block in the process twist and bring back down and that, so that solved the fifth center and then the sixth center which was orange automatically got solved 